Good morning, Good Richland High School. School. Thank you for viewing Ram TV. Today is Thursday, September 18th. Tomorrow is Green Day. Here's what is happening today. Best of luck to all sports teams playing today. Thursday, September 18th, 12 o'clock, JSO Opera Festival. 4 o'clock p.m., football boys, 8th grade versus Westmont Hilltop. 4 o'clock, soccer boys, junior high at Forest Hills. 4 o'clock, soccer boys, varsity at Westmont Hilltop. 4 o'clock, Tennis girls varsity at Bishop Gofoil, 515 soccer girls junior high at Forest Hills, 545 soccer boys junior varsity at Westmont Hill Top, 6 o'clock soccer girls junior varsity versus Westmont Hill Top, 6 o'clock volleyball girls junior varsity versus Bedford High School, 7 p.m. dryland workout, 715 volleyball girls varsity versus Bedford High School, 745 soccer girls varsity versus Westmont Hill Top, Friday, September 19th. Lunch menu, boneless hot wings. Student dismissal times are as follows. Thursday, September 18th, 2.05, varsity tennis, 2.30, JV, boys soccer. 2014 yearbooks are almost almost gone. Only eight copies of the 2014 yearbook are remaining. The cost is $72, and they can be purchased for $72 from Mr. Hutzel in the room E111. RHS versus Penn Cambria. RHS won 28 over 14 against Penn Cambria. Tyler Zimmer Zimmerman got one touchdown. Trevi Hardison, one touchdown. Brady Thomas and Tyler Zimmer Zimmerman, one catch, touchdown. Ben Saloga, two point conversion. Ethan Dabbs and Tim Rubel combined for four t touchdowns throughout the air. Homecoming dance tickets. Tickets for this year's homecoming dance will be on sale during homeroom. Tickets are $15 each. Intramurals. Today's seventh grade line soccer game is between team two and team four. Monday's eighth grade line soccer game is between team one and team three. <clears throat> Scholastic quiz. Scholastic quiz practice for today has been canceled. Be at meet uh, be at the meet on Monday at Johnstown Votech at seven twenty five. Check with Miss Myers if you're coming or not by Monday. SH Forensics. All students in grades 9 through 12 interested in joining senior high forensics. There will be a brief meeting on Thursday, September 25th, immediately following school in the library. If you cannot attend, please see Mrs. Miller on Friday, September 26th for any information that you missed at the meeting. <clears throat> 2015 senior class photo. The 2015 senior class photo will be taken this Friday during fifth period in front of the school. Seniors should report to the front of the school after their fourth period classes. All students are required to wear red and blue for the photo. SADS annual safe sofa contest. It's time for SADS annual safe sofa contest. The winner of the contest and two guests will sit on our safe sofa to watch a RHS football game on October 3rd at the Richmond vs. Johnson football game. You will be served food from the concession stand by our SAD members in order to win, post a sober selfie on Instagram and tag at RHS SAD. Place a caption that says, why you say no to destructive decisions. Have the photos posted by October 1st in order for a chance to win. See you at the game. The first middle school forensic practice is Monday, September 22nd in the cafeteria. A practice schedule will be handed out at that time. Yoga. It is yoga time again. Yoga classes will be offered after school in the fitness room for the students in grade 10 through 12. The classes are free and will be held from 310 to 415 on Thursdays. The first class is Thursday, September 25th. See Ms. Mahood in room D113 to register and find out what you need to bring to class. Yoga, strength, flexibility, and relaxation. Do your body a favor. Congratulations, girls varsity soccer team on their 12 nothing win last night against Johnstown. Goalkeepers Courtney Seifert and Harmony Eckroth combined for the shutout with the help from 11 different virtual defenders. Sam Hauser led the scoring with three goals. Nicole Miller, Allie Mattis, and Jordan Wolf all scored twice, while Emily Hill, Tina Rizzo, and Lindsey Cox all scored as well. Sammy Fountain, Carissa Wellington, and Allie Mattis all had two assists, while Natalie Miller, Tina Rizzo, Jordan Wolf, Sydney Warshall, and Marissa Cartarella all had one assist. The varsity record is now four wins, two losses, and two ties. The girls play a very important game tonight at home against Westmont, JV at 6 and varsity at 745.
Fellowship of Christian Athletes. There will be a FCA meeting on Friday, September 19th at 7 a.m. in the LGI room. Donuts will be provided. SAT cram sessions. Richland High School will be offering an SAT cram session for math and reading prior to each scheduled SAT this school year. These cram sessions will be offered after school on Fridays from 12 45 p.m. until 2.45 p.m. Students planning on taking the SAT are encouraged to take, advan take the advantage of this free opportunity. Classes will be limited to the first 30 students who sign up per session and students must be pre-registered at Richland SAT to attend. Session 1, SAT reading with Mrs. Secura, room B117, September 26th. Session 2, SAT Math with Mr. Tokarski in E110 on October 3rd. Students are encouraged to bring their school issued iPad to the cram sessions. Wait room hours. Fall wait room hours are Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday after school until 4.30. Please see Ms. Miller with questions. 7th and 8th grade, John Hopkins Talent Search. Talent Search applications are available in the guidance office for grades 7 and 8. Students who scored advanced proficiency on their 2014 PSSA test. Please check the school bulletin for all announcements. And now for the weather. Hi, I'm Noah Blackie, your MTV Chief Meteorologist. The high temperature today is 67 degrees and the low is 48. No rain in the forecast, so it's a perfect day to come out to the girls' soccer game. Go Rams! Tomorrow there will be a key club meeting at 7 a.m. in Mr. Wintering's room. Please be prompt. Wear red and blue day for casual for our cause and for the senior picture taking place during fifth period tomorrow, Friday the 19th. Go Rams! Hi, I'm here at the crime scene of the Courtyard Groundhog. A motor vehicle came the whole way here, hit the groundhog, and then the groundhog over here was left to its final resting spot. So, how did the courtyard groundhog get from there to here? That is the question everyone is asking. We do not know. It is an ongoing investigation, and the funeral pr funeral will be tomorrow morning. It will be a very sad day for the rich the whole Richland family. Breaking news, a bat invasion. That's right, a bat came into the school today, this morning, and made his way to that corner. And Mr. Sable, the janitor, had to remove the bat with the nest, net. The bat was an endangered, endangered species. So if you see the bat flying around outside, do not get nervous. It is friendly, but you cannot kill it. It is endangered. Have a great day. Have a great, great day. day.